Most automatic ice makers have two modules. A module in the base of the refrigerator that brings up the water and they have this main module and this is the one that makes the little moon shaped, moon crescent shaped ice cubes. And uh, it's very often that this module will wear out especially after about five or seven years of use. You can tell if the module is working or not by putting a piece of paper over here. To tell if the motor is bad on this module is pretty simple. Make sure the control arm is in the down position and put a piece of paper over here and it cycles through in about three or four hours. So if you come by six hours later and the paper hasn't moved, that tells you that the motor on the module is not working. And if the paper is knocked off, that, that means you've got some kind of water supply mod problem or possibly the module at the base of the refrigerator. To make repairs, first of all you have to use remove the cover and you can use a thin screwdriver for helping to get it started. Uh, pop off the cover. Um, and with that done, the next thing you need to do is to pull the arm out from the back of the module. So put the arm up in the up position and push with one finger and pull with the other until that comes loose. The next step will be to remove these three screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, the three screws have been removed and I simply grab the module and pull it straight back out. This module has two main components, a small AC motor and that's what's broken in this module and a gearbox. Now I've not seen a gearbox fail on one of these, but if the gearbox is broken, obviously adding a new motor won't help and you'll have to get an entirely new module. Replacing the motor is very simple. You can either take toenail clippers or a wire cutter and cut the two wires close to the motor. And then turn the motor to the right and you re you've moved it. The replacement motor is an M004 3 watt 120 um, AC volt motor. So here's the replacement motor. You want to make sure these tabs line up with these slots. Once the motor's aligned to lock it down, turn it counterclockwise. Okay, then take the wires, put them in place, and use a screwdriver to push them all the way down. Now the motor replacement is finished. When you put the module back, you'll have to make sure that this opening corresponds to this cam. So you can turn the cam that's in the refrigerator by moving um, these little arms until they line up. I've got this cam so it lines up with the module, and I'll just simply place the module back um, in the spot. and push it all the way back in. And then I've got to put the uh, three screws back and the cover back on it and it's finished. Okay, I'm now going to put the wire back. You could use a mirror to help with this to see the correct orientation, but I'm going to try to do this by feel. There I've got it. Push it forward. And now to turn the unit on, push the wire down. Um, now it says here to allow 72 hours for ice storage to fill. Um, and you may have to wait at least 12 hours before it cools down and produces um, ice cubes, but in this case this fixed the um, ice maker and I hope it does the same for you.